Hey sewing friends, it's Carolina Moore, your favorite sewing and quilting YouTuber, and today we're making the Cat's Cradle Blocks. I'm so excited, this is such a fun block, and using the Creative Grids Cat's Cradle Ruler, we can make this block while not having to deal with any biased edges and having everything square up beautifully because we line everything up on the ruler. This ruler really makes it so much easier to make blocks that look like it's a lot of complicated pieces, but it's really, really simple. We just follow the steps and whip these blocks right together. This is part of the Ruler of the Month series, so remember that in the description box there is a link to a pattern that's made using this ruler, and you're going to love this. You just make a bunch of these blocks in different colorways, and it comes together to make a really fun pattern. Make sure you go down and check that, but for now, let's get started with this ruler. Like most Creative Grids rulers, the Cat's Cradle ruler has a lot of information right here on the surface of the ruler. Right here we can see there's a QR code, you can scan that, and you can watch a video on how this ruler works. It actually has all of the instructions on cutting and the finished block sizes, so this will do one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, and four inch blocks. We're gonna make four inch blocks today. It shows pictures of what the finished blocks look like, and has the logo, it has all this great grippy on there that we're used to, and then it has all the different lines that we need to use when we're making our blocks. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you're going to do is you're gonna cut your pieces, and you're going to need one of the largest piece, and then two of the middle size piece, and two of this smaller piece. And the instructions for cutting, cutting these out, the exact measuring sizes, are right here on the ruler. With the two smaller sets, you're going to sew them together end to end, and you're going to press towards the rectangle, so away from the square. You're going to take these two pieces that you've now sewn and pressed, put them right sides together, making sure your squares are on opposite ends, and you're going to stitch down one side. And then we'll have our pieces like this. I've pressed the center seam in one direction, doesn't matter which direction, it's fine. These seams are pressed towards the rectangle and I've placed it on top of my larger rectangle and it should all fit more or less with this pieced unit on top of the whole unit. Then what we're going to do is take our cat's cradle ruler and a fabric marking pen and use this side of the ruler and that's the great thing about Creative Grids rulers is different sides of rulers usually do different things. So this side is where we're lining up these two seam lines of our square. And we're just marking with a fabric marking pen. You turn it around 180 degrees and you do the same on the other side. On this side you'll see that the center seam is pressed towards but I can still see my stitch line. And if I have any trouble seeing that stitch line, I can just grab my spot on dot and put it right on here to be able to see that all line up better. And then make my mark. Then you're going to sew exactly on these lines. And that's what I've done here. The next step is to cut these seam allowances to a quarter inch. and there is a quarter inch mark right here on the ruler. The only challenge is that because I am making the largest size is that you'll see that my ruler doesn't quite go to each end. So for making the largest size, I just recommend grabbing any other Creative Grids ruler and lining up your quarter inch seam allowance. And that way you don't have to worry about catching the end or the edge of your ruler with your rotary cutter when you are trimming these up but with any of the smaller sized cat's cradle blocks, you can use the side of the cat's cradle ruler to trim off these ends. So there we go. You'll have these little scrappy bits here, and these can just be tossed. And now we have what's almost a finished cat's cradle block. I need to press this, and I'm going to press it towards the large triangle, 
and then we're going to square this up with the cat's cradle ruler. My blocks are pressed and I'm going to square them up. Here on the ruler are the square sizes for one and a half all the way through four inches. I'm making the four inch size block. So I'm going to line up these lines right here. I'm going to use the large spot on dot and I'm also lining up this dotted line along my seam line. And so I can see all of those line up right here with the big spot on dot. I'm going to trim two sides. Then I'm going to turn 90 degrees and this time what I want to do is I want to line up that dotted line on my seam line and then also down here there's this diagonal line and I want to make sure that that hits this point down here and that way I know my block is square. and I've squared on my block. I'm going to do that one more time with the second block because each time you sew the units together you end up with two of these cat's cradle units. Now I have this little bit of waste from trimming but it's really barely anything at all and I have two perfectly squared up cat's cradle units. These are four and a half inches right now and they'll finish at four inches in a quilt and you can make as many of these as you want to make really fun quilts. Another option with this cat's cradle block is, and you can see it on the ruler, is to add another little triangle up here. And so I can show you a little bit what that might look like. You just need to cut another square the same size as this square and sew it on as a just a half square triangle unit and you'd be able to have a little triangle poking up on that side if you wanted. So it's just more versatility to this block and you can create a lot more fun quilt pattern designs that way. Speaking of quilt pattern designs, I did make a pattern using this cat's cradle ruler. If you go down to the description box, you'll not only find my link to be able to purchase this cat's cradle ruler, but you'll also find a link to a pattern using this ruler. So go ahead and uh, go down that description box and find that. While you're hanging out here on YouTube, I just wanna remind you to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Remember that that comment box is for you. If you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I do want to hear from you and I look for those comments. So leave me a question or comment if you have anything. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure you're subscribed. I have lots of fun quilting and sewing videos on this channel and much more to come. Thanks so much for watching my friends and I'll see you right here real soon.